Hello guys, and in this video, we shall be looking at earning on Alex through staking, but also through farming, yield farming. For those of you who do not have any context, Alex is basically what Uniswap is on Ethereum. It's a decentralized exchange that allows you to swap tokens on Bitcoin-based chains, such as Stacks, STX20, Bitcoin natively itself, but also you can swap within the EVM bridges of Ethereum, BNB and others. So you can basically switch or bridge from Ethereum, for example, into Stacks or from BNB into Stacks and vice versa. And also you can bridge between BRC20 standard, which is incredible. So you can basically, let's say, swap Bitcoin for Audi as an example, which is, I think it's really cool. So this is not a new concept for those of you who have been around DeFi on Ethereum. This is going to be a simple concept to understand. But for those of you who are not familiar, this is a beautiful way of accumulating tokens, especially in a bull run. A lot of this stuff starts slow and it gets bizarre at the tops when the TVLs grow bigger. So what you're going to need to be able to do this first, you will need what we call a wallet. I am using leather wallet, which you can also basically download for free. It's right here and leather.io. And then after that, you will need to get some stacks tokens, which you can buy from coin W coin W is a cryptocurrency exchange that allow you to trade BRC, DRC20 tokens, and all the other cryptos. And most importantly, it lists a lot of the ordinal projects early before anyone else does it. And CoinW is sponsoring this channel. So you should create an account on there. Link is in the description below. If you use our link, you will get a lot of welcome bonuses. And after you do that, you can now withdraw some stacks from here and deposit them into your leather wallet. I already made a tutorial showing you how to do that. You can watch that separately. So let's get back into Alex. One of the things that people mentioned when it comes to staking on, or at least farming on Alex, they said, I went to earn and I went to farm. But when I went to farm and somebody told me they wanted to farm Welsh and they, click, they clicked here, and it showed that they don't have the STX Welsh LP token, and they didn't understand what this is. So I'll explain to you. If you want to farm tokens, you don't necessarily go first directly into farming. Farming is different from staking. First, you provide liquidity to the marketplace to make sure that Alex has liquidity so that people can come and trade directly on chain. So you become what we call an LP, liquidity provider. When you provide liquidity, you will be issued with a liquidity provider token or what we call an LP token. And that is what you use to farm other tokens. So let's run through an example to make this more practical and you guys will be able to understand. So I want to basically farming some Welsh token because I do have some Welsh already and I like the project. It's a it's kind of like a meme coin on stacks. So what I will do, I have a, a very few amount of tokens, but I will use them for this example. First, you want to go to swap over here. And on swap, you want to go to pool, to the liquidity pools. So liquidity pools allow you to make money as well. So this method will show you to actually make money twice on your capital that you have. So you can see there, the pools come in pairs. It's never one coin. It's basically two tokens at a time. So I will look for, I have STX and I also have Welsh. So this is the pool that I'm looking for. And at the top here, you can see there is multiple times of, um, there are some metrics. There's liquidity. This is how much money is already in that pool, volume. 
and volume in seven days and fee rebit. So there are two ways of earning money in Alex Lab. One is a fee, re uh, fee rebate, and it says here, by adding liquidity, you earn fees from all trades on this pair proportional to your share of the pool. Fees are added to the pool, accrue in real time, and can be claimed by withdrawing your liquidity. This is one way of earning. Two is farm yield. So some pairs have yield, which is also cool. So you can see some pairs that have both, some don't have it. And if you, for example, if you use Bitcoin and STX, you will be earning fee rebate plus farm yield. Currently it's at 53%, uh, which is beautiful. So I will max out on the amount of uh, ABTC I have. ABTC basically means Alex Bitcoin. It's the wrapped version of, Ale of Bitcoin on Alex. And then I will simply just click add. And it's basically telling me what I should do. The amounts entered may fail to execute due to shifting prices. And it's recommending the amount that I should add in. But I'm just going to ignore it. All right, guys. So I waited for some time and the transaction finally completed. How do we know? Well, because if I go back to the pool and click on STX ABTC and click on it, I'm able to see on my liquidity here, it was zero, zero, but now we can see that I actually have a push share of 0.01%. And this is the amount of tokens I pulled, 74 STX tokens plus 0 0.002 Alex Bitcoin, which has an indicative value of $240. Now, this is step one. We will be earning rewards from this. Fantastic. But we want to farm as well to maximize our yield. What do we do? That's when you go to earn, farm. And on the farm, it's suggesting the STX ABTC farm because it knows that we have the LP token to do it. So you can either use whatever it's here recommended or you can simply find it on your own here. All right. So. Uh, here it's saying stake LP. The LP is the token that we have from pooling the ABTC plus STX. All right. So I'll just go ahead and stake LP. And we have multiple cycles here. So you can stake it for 32, for four cycles, eight cycles, 12, 24, and 32. It's recommending 42, but I want to do it maybe for just 24 which is 88 days, all right? And you can see that the yield increases over time. The more cycles, the better. You know, the higher the cycle count, the better. So if you were like, okay, I wanna hold this for almost a year, then perfect. You can go ahead and stake it for like the 32. For this example, let's go all out. Let's go all in and just choose 32. Maximum is what I want to stake in. And then I'll click stake the LP token at 32 cycles, estimated 117 days. Confirm. You cannot see this, but it's my wallet popped up for me to approve the transaction. And now, voila, transaction was approved. We just have to wait. And I would be farming some free tokens, which I think is fantastic, right? So that's basically how you yield tokens. I will make more examples on different kind of tokens, meme coins, Bitcoin, uh, and also Alex tokens themselves. I think in this pool, for example, we should be in this farm, we should be earning some Alex. And here it says the amount of A power ideal accesses received for yield farming will be 0.3x the amount of Alex awarded. So this is almost like a booster. And also it means that if you have this LP token and you're farming in here, you have more sort of privileges on things like on the launch pad if they're doing IDOs, you'll be qualifying to actually gain more tokens or have access to invest in early project, which I think it's very, very useful. So that's why it pays to be involved in this kind of activities. All right, thank you guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one. Stay awesome.